afternoon baseball from the East Bay in the Oakland Coliseum. Today, a matchup of a pair of first place teams between the Boston Red Sox and Sean Manaya, a lefty from Indiana, is on the mound here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, we look a lot at numbers from starting pitchers, walks to innings pitch, but one of the key stats I look for is whip. And he has a sub high and deep to left center field, a ball that's carrying. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he'll get there as he kicks off the ball game with a triple. Every center fielder threads this kind of a play, right? The ball's hit right at him and over his head. He turns and runs, leaps for it, but just can't make the play. It ends up coming off the wall. And by the time he can get the ball back in, it was a guaranteed triple. And the Red Sox are off to a one to nothing lead. Here's Xander Bogarts now. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. That is cool. The left field. Here's J.D. Martinez. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. In there. Not in hey. time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. That's not easy to do. To steal third off a catcher that has an elite arm like this. Great base running there. High and deep to right center. Heading after it is Piscotti. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2 0 game. Here now is Rafael Devers. Good opportunity for him to add to his season RBI total here, which currently sits as third best in the American League. Yeah, he can be found on the leaderboards for batting average and home runs, too, guys. He's having a very special year so far. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the second out. But meanwhile, the run is in to score. First delivery to him. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. He takes the turn and heads for second. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. So here's Michael Chavis now. Strike taken, the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. How about that for making something happen? First he rips a double, then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. A one pitch on its way. Well, the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down. Certainly, hollow of the knee or lower. Sinker changeup guy, if he's going to succeed against this lineup, he's got to keep the ball down. Garcia is there. And that retires the side. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Pedro Martinez, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? This guy is a strikeout pitcher deluxe. Has over 250 strikeouts on the season. And if he brings his A game, look for a lot of punch outs in this game here. Martinez has finished off more than 2,900 innings during his time in the major leagues. And in that time, he struck out more than 3,400 batters, placing him inside the top 10 on the all time strikeout list. Absolutely incredible what he's been able to accomplish. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly, this pitching style. Have, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Lifted down the line and left. Martinez on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. That is third. The third baseman. And now the first Matt. pitch. Step there. Fouled off. A ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. 
swung on and missed. One and Lane two ball. now. One ball, two strikes. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. A's are gone. Ready now is Christian Vasquez. His career numbers against Manaya. He's two for four. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Next to hit, Kike Hernandez is currently fourth in the AL in RBIs, and he's got a chance to add to that total right here from the stretch. And solid contact there as his ball is belted high in the air out to left. Gone! Well, this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens, you throw him a strike, and he can hit the ball. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. High in the air out to center field. Loriano is right there, one down. Now back. Next to stand in is Xander Bogarts. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Now here's the pitch. High in the air and deep to left center field. Center fielder looking up, still ranging back. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. He's hit three home runs already in the series. I'm not sure what more they need to see, but this is not the guy I want to be pitching to right now. Hit in the air down the left field line. Pinder has to range back, but he'll make the catch near the line, and there are two men gone. Now batter. And now in the box, Rafael Devers. Lifetime in this matchup. He's two for four. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Four runs here in this half inning. Popped him up. Andres is under it. And the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman, Matt Olson. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. Martinez is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit around, and on top of that, he usually excels at limiting free passes. A great combination to have. Matty V, I think one of the keys to being a good starting pitcher, one, limiting the number of pitches that you throw into a game, and two, getting outs as quickly as you can. And there aren't too many guys that do it better than this guy. Not a lot of pitches. One of the things I like, he's in attack mode from the first pitch of every at bat. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. That is good. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Fouled away. Tried to strike out the side. Here it is. A swing by Moreland and a ball soaring to right field. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. And that brings up Chad Pinder. 
Yeah, they dug themselves quite a hole, but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging. Well, with that solo shot, they've stopped digging, but they've got a long way to go before they climb out of this hole completely. Get it ready, big boy. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. But the A's inch a bit closer thanks to this solo home. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi. Top of the third set to get underway. And into bat next, the utility man extraordinaire Marwin Gonzalez. Into the corner and slicing foul. Gonzalez, a Venezuelan-born ball player. He was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder. And they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. So frustrating, Hero. You make a good pitch and you get these guys that can run around and they're fast. You think you have an out and all of a sudden it turns into an infield single. Yeah, this is definitely part of his game, the ground attack, Dan. He's a speedster. He's going to get a ton of infield singles and he knows how frustrated that pitcher is. Loriano patrolling center makes the play one out. One gone here in the Boston third. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. First offering on its way. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Kinder is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Runner at first. Two gone in the inning, and that means the plug and play utility man Kike Hernandez will bat next. High and deep down the left field line. And foul. A one count. Here's the pitch. This one's down to third. Chapman's got it. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Outfielder Steven Piscotti, the next to hit. And D Road down six already in the early part of this ball game. What's the mentality for them as they try to work their way back? You know what, Matty? This is where you take some prideful ABs. I've been down six before, and I've come back from even further down than that in some big ball games. You have to find a way to just relax and start piecing some good ABs back to back. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Steven Piscotti is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the third. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. What a nasty pitch right there. Batter thought it was going to hit him, and it ends up breaking into the zone for a strike. Martinez has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Here's Elvis Andrus now. 0 for 1 went down looking his first time up. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish to say be. Okay, if you're in this lineup right here, game on, boys. I know he's got power stuff, but if he, he's going to. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the end. Stepping in once again is Mookie Betts. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's just one for six. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Loud contact by Mookie and a ball carrying well to left field. Into the second deck and gone. Baseball has really changed. Remember when leadoff guys were guys who would just draw walks and steal bases? But that's not the case anymore. Guys like this, they have pop in their bat and they can go deep. Into the box now. Johnny Damon pulled toward right center field. Loriano is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Next to hit is Xander Bogarts. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. 
Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, J.D. Martinez. He flew out in his last A.B. Speared on the dive. Got him. That's out. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Maybe yeah, that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, the second baseman. Jed Lowry. Drives yeah. it out to deep right center Lowry. field. And he reaches up to track this one down for the first out. And he had to go a now long battle. way to get to third that ball. Chapman. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. Ah. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Chapman brings a ton of pop to the plate with him, particularly against right handed pitching. Some guys don't drive the ball as well when facing a pitcher who throws no, from the same First side that they swing the bat, but that's certainly not the case here. Oh, yeah, this guy just absolutely hammers right handed pitching. You know, some guys like the ball in, coming towards them, and that's exactly what the righty on righty matchup presents itself. A two seamer in a four seamer that leaks out over the plate a hanging breaking ball. This guy seems to absolutely hammer those. The next 0 2. And he struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the end. James Caprillion gets the call to pitch here and he'll now try to sort this athlete. mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Now the first pitch. Right side. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. There's Marwin Gonzalez now. He swings and lines it to left. Kinder settles under it, and there's one gone. Now is the designated hitter, Michael Chavis. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Now the 0 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Kinder is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. So next to hit is Christian Vasquez, flew out last time up. First offering on its way, and he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. A hit in two tries for him so far. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Who says hitting isn't contagious? These guys have been feeding You're off each three. other all game, now and five home three. runs as the result. I'll tell you, you might see some scuffles in the on deck circle between guys fighting to get to the plate. Here's Mookie Betts. Now this one's crushed. Left field line, and it's a foul ball. Here's the 0 1. Oh, and that ball's absolutely crushed down the line. Forget about it. That's going to stay fair and make it back to back home runs. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hat trick in hockey, but it's awfully Not hard bad. to do that in a baseball game. At the plate, Johnny Damon. Ah. He'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. Oh, it's 0 one. 1. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. Hard hit ball to second. Lowry's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as decided. 
Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. First pitch on its way. Ramon Laureano is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Up next to the designated Mitch Moreland ah, will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. The lefty number four. He's ready. Here's the yeah. first pitch. Three. Chad Pinder is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Not an easy thing to do to fill up the strike zone and be successful no doing it. How He's about right. this guy so far in this one? 100% of his first pitches have been for strikes. This one's flared off to the right side. And Mookie will make the So now to the plate, Xander Bogarts is two for three and looking for more here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line drive, base hit down the line. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. Not every day that you see a ball come off the bat like that one did. And looking at it again on show track, we see it a lot faster than it came in. 113 miles an hour. Couldn't have hit that one much better than that. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Next, here is Rafael Devers. Base is empty in front of him with one away following the RBI ground out. A shot down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And he'll reach second now with one away. You'd think they'd stop pitching this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. So batting practice continues here today as they notch their seventh home run of the game. Dan, they're absolutely knocking the cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting that night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. Loriano is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now yeah, it'll be Christian yeah. Vasquez. So far, two for three in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti to start things out in their yeah, half of the sixth as they look to right shake field. things up here for Big a lineup man. that, quite frankly, has hey, been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Matty, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater oh. in the middle of the plate early. To one and two now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Still a ball and two strikes. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Number 37. And he fouls this one off. The 0-1. Oh, it has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. 
I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. He throws him on the fastball there. Aramis Garcia goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. Popped him up. Devers has room in foul territory, and that will end the inning. Kike Hernandez to the plate again and looking for home run number three in the ball game. His second coming back in the fifth. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Mookie Betts steps in with his eyes on history. Take a look at his work at the plate in this one as he'll shoot for his fourth homer to put himself in rare company. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. The 0 2 once more. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Pinder is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Next up is Johnny Damon. He's got one hit in four at bats. And now the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Loriano will get there and he puts it away to retire. Bottom of the inning now. And set to go is the second baseman, Jed Lowry. The second baseman. Way behind that pitch. It's 0 and 1. Hey, it's really hard to pitch a gem. And what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage. How about 100%? Can't get any better than that. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Now back. this is what a power pitcher would do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout, and with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Behind 0-2 now. Hard on the ground towards short, gloved by Bogarts. Throw in time at first for route number two. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. Swing and a miss as he's underneath that one for the first strike. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end. All set for the start of the inning. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Gone to lead off the inning. Almost can't believe I'm saying this, but that was the eighth home run of the game for these guys. How about this offensive performance? Is this a live baseball oh, game or are they taking batting practice right now? Zero. Somebody help me. Oh. Now that ball is smoked. Carrying the deep left. Kinder is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Next it'll be Rafael Devers. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Hit on the ground out to short. And there are two away now. He's ready to take his hacks again. Marwin Gonzalez blasted a two run homer in his last at bat. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Piscotti is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Red Sox on top. First pitch of the AD now. Ramon Laureano is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's deal is still top notch. This guy's a horse. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Now batting. Now here's the first offering. Mitch Moreland stands in as he looks at a called strike. 
he'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0-0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0-1 than 1. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Chad Hinder is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. In the air, down the line, and left. Martinez finds some space out there for the catch to J.B. Wendelkin. Enters now in a mop up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Now the Red Sox DH, Michael Chavis, in his career versus this pitcher. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. He's around first, heading for two. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now the catcher, Christian Vasquez. Stepping in now, Christian Vasquez. Hit hard down the line. Chapman has it cleanly. And there's one down now. Next up for the Red Sox, Kike Hernandez. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Hot shot on the ground is short. Andrus has it. And Boyd just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Mookie Betts. His prior history in this matchup. He's 0 for 7. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Elvis at short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first save. Striding in for Oakland, Stephen Piscotti starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. And it's fouled away. The next 0-2. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. Here's a late no swing ball. and a miss. Strike two. two. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. Here it comes now to Andrews. High and deep down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Able to pound his zone with all different options. Fouled away. Last strike now for Oakland. Swing and a miss. He struck him out and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, not many pitchers can brag about throwing a one hit complete game. So hats off for him. But as a pitcher, I know he's going to want.